So team, keep it clean. Uh, what's going on, man? With this um this hurricane, this hurricane Ian. Um, it's uh let's see, man. It, it's supposed to be crazy. Hopefully, it's not crazy. Hopefully, it just dies down. Um, and nothing comes of it. But I know um it's supposed to really uh hit Florida soon. I know it's already impacted um I think Cuba and I think Jamaica and Bahamas uh, and I forget where else. But um I hope y'all are doing good. I hope y'all are good. I hope y'all are safe. I hope y'all um. Y'all in a good spot, uh, just in case, because you never know with these things. Um, I know we've been just getting a lot of rain. Like, it rains in South Florida a lot, but it's been raining, like, a lot, a lot. Uh, they did close schools uh, in Dade County and Broward County. Uh, they closed schools uh, for Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, so that's smart. I, I definitely support that. Um, I know some businesses uh, have been closing a little bit early today. Um, just to get ready for everything, uh, just in case anything does happen. Um, like we always say, stay ready, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we just we'll just all be extra prepared and nothing comes of it. But you just you just never know. So appreciate y'all. I've been seeing a lot of y'all in the comment section, um, wishing well. And um, so I, I appreciate it. I see it, and, and and I love you for that. And I appreciate y'all a lot. I appreciate the fact that y'all care, that y'all concerned. Uh, it means a lot. So I got that same concern for anybody that's on Team Keep It Clean that's uh, that's in the areas, whether you're in Florida or not, whether you're wherever. So y'all just um, y'all stay safe, man. Love y'all. So um, with the Ravens, uh, Ravens, they've had a busy past uh, 30 minutes because they've made several transactions. Um, so first, let's get into it. Uh, one of the newest ones, uh, Jeremiah Atashu. Um, 29 year old outside linebacker that they brought in, they signed him, uh, and they signed him to the practice squad. Now, uh, he Jeff Zrebic said he's an eight, he's an eight year vet, has 20 and a half career sacks, um, and he uh, most recently played for the Chicago Bears last year. Now, what I did, I, I, I like pulling up the stats to see if the stats can tell me uh, any of the stories with these players. Um, and his stats were very interesting because when I look, it's like when he does play, he, do, he, he hasn't been a starter, but when he does play, he produces like the one year he got drafted. And I think the second round of 2014 to the Chargers. Um, and then from that point, there was one year, uh, oh, 2017, where he only played in four games, didn't get any sacks, got no sacks. But other than that, when he's played. He's produced uh, because in 2014, his rookie year, he played in 11 games. He got two sacks. Didn't start. Uh, but in 2015, he played in 15 games. He started for 12. He got six sacks. Uh, in 2016, he played in eight games, only started one. He got two sacks. Uh, then the following year, that's 2017 when he got hurt. 2018, he played for the Jets. Uh, he played in 11 games, didn't start any. Uh, and he got three and no, he got two sacks that year. Then the following year, 2019, he got three and a half sacks after playing in 12 games. The following year after that, in 2020, he played in thir 13 games, didn't start, and he got five sacks. So you see what I'm saying? So it, when, when, when he plays, he produces, but he's not a starter. And that's fine. Ravens are not asking him to be a starter. they asking him so again, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But when we call you, make sure you're ready so it can help us. So you can help us. So you can come in and you can be a solid contributor right away. So, and Ravens, uh, this 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 signing does um give me a little bit of concern, though. Uh, even though I, I, like, I like it because you need more depth. You've been lacking... Depth the whole year, even after signing JPP, you're still lacking depth. So I do like the signing, but um, by the way that the Ravens have been moving, it makes me think like uh, with Justin Houston that he could possibly miss some time. We'll start to know more starting tomorrow because Wednesday is the day that the Ravens should be start practicing. Um, but it leads me to believe that we will not see Justin Houston uh, out at practice tomorrow or maybe even this whole week. Hopefully. I hope that I can look back on this video and be like, oh, man, I was wrong. That'd be great. But again, with groin injuries, it's like, ugh, those are, those are scary. But again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. 
Uh, and that's what it's about. So um, let me just read this article real quick from Ryan Mink that he put on BaltimoreRavens.com about Jeremiah uh, Atashu. He said the Ravens signed veteran outside linebacker Jeremiah Atashu to their practice squad on Tuesday, further bolstering their depth at an injury laden position. Um, so that, yeah, that was that. Uh, Atashu, 29, is entering his ninth NFL season. And he was with the Bears last year, but Toys Peck in week five and was released in June. Whew. NFL's a cold business, man. I mean, and, hey, we've known that for a long time. Y'all know that for, the, for a long time. If teams are like, hey, psh, yeah, you play for us a little bit, even if you produce for them. Once you ain't no good to that team no more, they <sighs> spit you out. Spit you out. They're like, oh, yeah, we're done. And that's the business. The, the NFL is a production-based business. If you ain't producing for the team, then psh, you're out of there. Well, in most cases, we know sometimes it's... Anyway, we don't need to get into that. Um, a former second-round pick of the Chargers in 2014, uh, Atashu has 20 and a half sacks in his eight seasons. His best season was in 2015, but he recently had a strong campaign in 2020 with the Broncos, logging five sacks, 31 tackles, and nine quarterback hits in 13 games with only five starts. So, yeah, that was a nice little uh, quick, brief synopsis of him. But the Ravens, they weren't done. They weren't done making moves. Um, they also, uh, they also signed guard Jack, uh, I was about to say Jack Zonchin, Zach Johnson. <laughs> they also signed guard Zach Johnson to their practice squad. So some more, uh, offensive line depth, some help, um, because they suffering right now. I think they said, uh, Patrick McCary got a, what, a low ankle sprain. So who knows how, how long he'll be out for. Um, so that's, that's somebody else who's probably going to be missing from practice this week for the Ravens. So it's like, man, um, at least though, like it's a bittersweet thing, but at least the injuries that the Ravens suffered over this past, in this past game, at least they're not season ending injuries. So that's, there's a bright spot. Um, now those are the guys who they brought on, but when you bring on people, you also got to get rid of some. So the Ravens, they released cornerback Daryl Worley, uh, who they had just promoted to the active roster last week, I believe. Yeah, I think they promoted him to the active roster last week. So they released him. So now he becomes uh, a free agent. I'm not sure how long he's been playing for. No, he's been playing for a while. So, yeah, he becomes an immediate free agent. I don't think he has to pass the waves or anything like that. But I'm not 100% certain on that. But anyway, they released him. But... They also released Makai Polk from the practice squad. Why receive Makai Polk? Man, it, it, it was such a um, it was such a sad story. Just a, it was crazy how it all happened uh, with the Ravens in their wide receiver unit um, this this year, this off season. Um, because I had so much questions about them, and I just knew they were gonna make some moves to get somebody. Uh, they brought in these undrafted free agents. I'm like, okay, these guys, they, they got a chance to compete here. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, then the, 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 off, the, the off season was going and going and going, and they hadn't signed anybody. I heard they were interested in that person, that person, that person, but they hadn't signed any veterans. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, maybe they just waiting for, like, camp cuts or something like that. Then camp cuts came around. Then they brought on Demarcus Robinson. Like, oh, okay, Demarcus. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then he made that big play in uh, in the preseason. Like, oh, okay, yeah, super cool, super cool. Um, and then with Makai Polk, Jamal Bridges, he was doing this thing in that first preseason game, and I was like, oh yeah, his roster spot is a lock. Then Makai Polk, he was doing this thing in the first two preseason games. I was like, okay, let's go. Then after that, they said Jamal Bridges got hurt. Then Makai Polk, he wasn't really getting involved too much after that. And I was like, oh man, it's tough. Um. But yeah, and then they had cut uh, Devin Johnson, um, I think um, Amika Amezi, he was the undrafted wide receiver from, I want to say North Carolina, but there was a mix up with him because apparently they thought the Ravens had signed him, but then it was like, no, the Ravens didn't sign him and I don't know what happened with that. But anyway, Slade Bolden, he got put on injury reserve, they said he had some type of injury, I forgot what it was, but with the undrafted guys... Um, it's like they all came and they all went. All of them. Uh, and I, I thought that for sure at least one of them maybe was going to make it. But nobody did. But then when Makai Polk, he made the practice squad. I was like, okay, let's go. But now that's that's done. So now uh, he 
he's a, a free agent. So he can be signed, obviously, to anybody's practice squad, but to anybody's roster. So hopefully he does get a shot. Because it's like you, 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 you love, or well, I love what I saw from him uh, in the preseason. And you just, you, you feel for people. Because, again, this is people's livelihoods. Now, on a practice squad, you still make money. <laughs> like, don't think the practice squad you, you, is free. No, these, these dudes, they still make money on them practice squads. They still get paid. Um, but, obviously, on the, and on the regular roster, you get paid more. Um, so, with him, hopefully, he can make somebody's team. Hopefully, he can make somebody's team, make somebody, whether it's practice squad or active roster. Obviously, active roster will be better. But, hopefully, somebody gives him a shot. Because you just hate, you, you, just, you feel for people. Because, again, it just it reminds you of how cold of a business it is and why it's, it's 1% of people make it. That's not me. And, like, NFL seems like it's so many different players, and it is, but then you think of everybody that tries to get to the NFL, and that just reminds you how tough it is. You could have all the right trainers. You could have all the right – the all, all the right – you could have all the skills in the world. You could have this and that and a third, but it's not a guarantee that you make it. And even if you do make it in, it's still not a guarantee that you stay. So we'll see what happens with him and really just everybody else, too. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. And, and again, make sure that y'all are staying safe, uh, that y'all are good, um, and that y'all got everything taken care of. I love y'all. Keep your heads up. And we out.